Hello, I'm Bood and welcome to episode 7, season 7 with Rail Oviedo here on my channel. And yes, I'm in a very good mood because today I jet off, well later on today, to Benidorm for four days and four nights with three of my oldest and bestest friends. Can't wait. <laughs> Very excited. Honestly, it's going to be epic. I'm probably going to end up very ill, get alcohol poisoning, but who gives a shit? It's going to be awesome. So I'm in a very good mood and hopefully you'll keep me in a good mood by hitting that thumbs up, get involved in the comments, subscribe if you're new, come and join the family, hit the bell and you'll never miss anything I do and you won't miss it when I come back. Now, I don't know what's going to happen with this series because I'm going away for a good few days and so I want to grab my ass off and get one season out, another season before I left um, and I've shook it up. I felt like we're kind of just floating around that top four, picking up a cup now and again, doing okay in Europe, just hitting that wall, hitting that wall, which is, just, you know, understandable because of the financial situation this club's in, but we're in a decent financial situation going into this summer. And it's got to that part of the game, and I say this very often, when sometimes you get to a summer and it's like, oh, oh. I can get you. Oh, I wasn't going to sell you, but you can piss off because I need a bit of money because I want you. It was mint. I have ripped the team apart. I made a list. I'm looking at that list. It's a long list. So I'm going to try and get through it in a quick way so we can get stuck in to some action because I've had to go very early today to do this the way I've got to do it and then to get gone on my jolly. So let's stop talking and let's get going. I'm going to start here on the finances page. You'll see we are in a healthy financial position. Um, you must have seen the budget last year. Well, that got added to. The board let me add to it. Money came in over the summer and I've done all right, you know. Now, I've made my list, like I said. I'll say it now. So basically, I've spent 65 million after players' ins and outs, right? 65 million, but I'd say about 75% of that is stretched out finances. I'm laying in the club with a bit of debt. I don't give a shit because I think I've done great. I think and I'm buzzing. First off, we had two loan players I really liked and one of them was Pablo Torre, obviously. They would not let me have him for a third season. Um, I know Atletico Madrid was sniffing around him. I know he's only worth 10 million. I decided against it. This one hurt in a way because um, they didn't really want him. And if I'd have had 80 million, flat out 80 million, I think it was 79 to be fair, he would have come. I, I tested the water to see. They were willing to sell him. And Man City bought him for 79 million. So he's gone to Man City. Who I'm just going to say now, we draw in the Champions League group stage. Hendrik, man, loved him. But I think I've found close to... A bloody like for like replacement for him. So this is the squad arranged by position and I'm going to go through it. But first, the outs. I want to do this quickly. Alderete, Felipe, the two centre outs I bought last year. Gone. First, six, 6.25, 6.75. Leanco, 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 the Brazilian centre half. 1.5. Katina, another centre half. Half a mil. We right back. Hijaz, whatever his name was. Free. Uh, Comissana, got half a million central midfielder for him. Got to move that jacker. A million for him. Uh, I got 10 mil for Vallejo. Check that out. Uh, and they're the major main outs. But I've got a big long list here of newbies. So let's quickly go through this squad on this page. Why not? Uh, tennis. Eastern Inter, all right, good goalkeeper. Ballesteros, still going to be the backup for now. I don't really care. Pozo, decent right back. Decent. But we have a new one, Mr. Del Violet, the 20 year old Belgium. I got for a free. Lovely jubbly. Got all of a freebie. Um, Jeremy, new centre half, 19 years old, Spanish, only cost me 2 million quid. <laughs> Minimum fee. Robbery, love it. Uh, Ivan Garcia, I've actually promoted him from the youth team. Look at his potential. He's one of the ones that's come through the academy while I've been boss. So he's going to come up. Got a very young defence now, central centre ass, but I think we're better. And I won't go down that route. But anyway, um, next up, Gutierrez. No one's after him anymore, but he's a very good left back. He's staying still 27 years old. Uh, we've still got Jimenez, who's just in and about the squad like a squad filler, helps with the European quota. Uh, Leonardo, Leonardo's a new boy, Brazilian. Free, love it. 
you got to love a freebie. Uh, Petrov was a late purchase for me at left back because I've got Gutierrez and I've got that other kid I showed you, Jimenez or whatever, who floats about. But he came available. Petrov, where are you, Petrov? On my list for about two and a half mil. Look at his value now. Minimum fee. Love it. Um, Flatmo, he's a new boy. Flatmo might have cost me a bit. He cost me 15 million from Arsenal. 15 million. That was one of my big purchases. Like, I had to pay 15 million for him. Uh, obviously, we still got Gibbs White, good player. Uh, Fagioli, good player. Alex Scott, great player. Love Alex Scott. Let's move the screen down quickly. Um, Sullivan, he's a new boy. Sullivan Castagnet, 21 year old Frenchman. He cost 20 ish million, stretched out like a Let's hope he never scores lots of goals and plays for his country a lot. Uh, Strumbo, Strumbo, 10 million combined, 20 years old. Obviously, I've been looking for EU players as well, to be fair. Uh, Sesma, look at him. Look at Sesma. What did he cost me? Five and a half million minimum fee. Lovely job lift. Still got Kangley. We've got Ivan, he's a new boy. He was nearly 10 million combined, the new right winger. Uh, he's one of the youth team players I've had around for a while now, just helping out with the quota. We'll get to you in a minute. Alessandro promoted him. Um, I think I've swapped him for that Carlos. So he's like the third string striker, but he's better than Carlos. He went away on loan last year, did really well. He's got a good star rating, so he's come in. Um, Obviously, we've still got Philippe, who's great, second year of his loan deal. Um, Fernino, still here, wanted. We'll see. Nick Sargent, the other big one stretched out. He's a wonder kid from Dortmund, 20 mil. Stretched. And he was requested to leave, so he's not playing Australian. I think he loaned him out last year as well. But he'll be brilliant for us. I'm very happy with that. Like a Vallejo replacement. But this is my Endrick replacement. Wilson. Little Wilson, the wonder kid, 11 million pounds minimum fee. I mean, he's just not much difference between him and Hendrik, is there? Buzzing with that. He's Brazilian as well. Love it. And to be honest, we've gone down that real young route. We've got two good fullbacks that have come in. We've got decent ones already. With central defence has just been completely regenerated with youth. Good goalkeeper, great midfield, bit of youth in there. Some very exciting wonder kid talent going forward as well. So that's what I like to do, build a young team. But sometimes you just got to have that right moment in time, that right summer. The players have to be available. I suppose the money has to be available. I've made sure they've all got good minimum fees because you have to have a minimum fee in Spain. But it is what it is. I mean, they've got big ones if we ever lose them. But there's a lot of players out there. And to be fair, I've got a good shortlist together now of good young players that have got minimum fees and so on in Brazil, Argentina, around Spain and Europe. Um, I did miss out on a few because I did wait till the 1st of July. Um, I tried to get all my players' deals out, sort of. Um, so I could get to the 2nd of July, maybe. So I knew how much I've really got here. Just to make the major deals, how much have I got in the wages and so on like that. So I did miss out on a couple of little gems, to be fair. We obviously got snapped up before I was ready to try and get them. Um, but I think there's a lot more out there and I think this is a start. I don't know if I'm going to do another season when I get back from Benidorm. We'll see. Because obviously views are dropping off like a motherfucker. Um, but I'm enjoying it. I might do. I might do. We'll see. So pre-season, it was alright. Uh, training camp in America. Played some teams we could beat. And then I went on a tour of England and I played Scunthorpe. Possibly one of my top five series of all time, Scunny. It started out as a bit of a trial and um, didn't know what it was going to do how I was going to do it how long it had last I think it went on for 20 years 20 episodes something like that with a special episode which I very rarely do I loved it that much yeah it was great so of course La Liga this is what I qualified for the Europa League I won't mind a bit of Europa League I think we could win that but that's another story we're in the Champions League and we do end up having to play City and um, we'll see how we do in that uh, the Copa del Rey I'd love to do well in that and this time the Super Copper is probably our hardest semi-final. We've got Barcelona. Staff's been tweaked and improved. So let's jump forward to a date in the future that I've saved and see how we've been getting on. And that date 
is the 7th of December, a little earlier than normal. We're not going to look at anything in detail. I've just jumped in here for a reason. You can see we, we're third in the league and we'd be doing okay on everything, really. Especially when you think I've completely rebuilt my central defence with four new players and they're all young. One of them's a youth academy player. We've been, we'd been doing okay up until the last couple of games, which you can see was an issue because I've got Fernino and Wilson out, injured, with two main strikers. Kang Lee, Alex Scott, backup winger, and my new left back, Petrov. So yeah, it was one of them points where you're like, the FM gods are against me, we're doing all right, but everyone was dropping like flies. Anyway, a month later, on the 1st of January, uh, we were still third. Very proud of it, really, because we had to go through some games um, with two superstar strikers out. And I've got players who can cover there, and I've got that kid I promoted this year as well. Who did all right, actually. I'll, sh I'll share some with you in a minute. Um, so we were third. Villarreal, second. Real Madrid, undefeated. When was the last time they lost? So here's the results in the league up until this point. And we beat Barcelona 3-1. We started brilliantly. I'm like, oh my God, this team's amazing. Absolutely amazing. 4-2, 4-0. They beat me both times last year. I'm pretty sure that's why they were above us in the league, even though we were level on points. The bastards. Um, then we lost. And then we drew. And then we won. Then we lost. Then we won three and we drawn one. You can see for yourself. Uh, Valencia gave me a beating. Went another good run. And this is around the time we had players out. I mean, look at that. <gasps> look at that. 6-0. 6-0. And then you follow that up with that piece of shit. That hurt. Remember when I said in a previous episode it feels like getting kicked in the balls and finger bummed at the same time? Well, I was finger fucking fisted up the asshole, whatever that means, and had my balls cut off. Didn't get any flowers, honestly. Shocking. But uh, I think it was that where I showed you before. We we'll click on that. Gave Alessandro a game. Only scores a winner against Atletico Madrid. Oh, yes, don't forget. I nearly forgot. But. Our beautiful stadium is now a 35,000 all seats and only we own it. It's awesome. I mean, I do enjoy the fact that the club's grown facilities wise. It's amazing. Um, and I feel like we've done all that now. And I was, I'm hoping, you know, in the future, if, we, if there is a future for this club and me and this series that any money we get now, we can start getting these youngsters in. This is just a quick look at the squad arranged by average rating. Uh, good, yeah, it is. My left back is my best player. Gibbs White is a ledge. Kang in Lee still sells ships for fun. Philip, his contract's got an extra year in it. So when his deal runs out this year, his two year loan, he'd have a year left. So we'll have to see if we can buy him. His value might drop with only a year left. Maybe they'll loan him to me. I reckon they could sell him. I think he's brilliant in my team. Brilliant. Uh, Fernino. He's been sharing the position with Vilson, who's good. I think he's having a bit of trouble settling. He wanted someone in to help him, and I didn't get him anyone. He spies dummy out. Um, but he's got so much potential. I think he could um, he'd just get better. I'm not worried about that. But, I mean, everyone's done all right, to be fair. I think Leonardo, the, the other Brazilian, have picked up for Nout. Honestly. Well, we had the Super Copper, don't forget. And we had Barcelona, who we beat on opening day of the season. And we beat him again. 3-1. We've got Barca's number. We've always had Barca's number. We've done really well against Barcelona. But, of course, in the final this year, it was Real Madrid again. Could I FM him? Again. And get over that 7-0 defeat. No. 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 We got absolutely battered. We got battered. They're too good. They're too good. Look at this team. They haven't got Bellingham. Where's Jude Bellingham gone? They, they have got him, is he? Oh, he's on the bench. I mean, Declan Rice. I mean, let's move forward a little bit. It's now the 22nd of February, and this is the final Champions League group. And we finished fourth. We've done really well in Europe. And you may have noticed, I didn't get beat. I didn't get beat. Now, I did rotate quite a bit, and I've maybe sacrificed in the league a little bit um, before some big games in Europe. I did B team it. I try to rotate a bit more this year than I have in the previous few years. Um, feel like I've got a bit more about the team to be able to do that, maybe take a few risks um, and try to just really concentrate on getting through or getting in that top eight. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Beating Napoli, we drew with City. 
Um, PSG I drew with, did well against them last year in all the games we played against them. Got me the knockouts as well, didn't we? So I was really chuffed with that, to be fair. In the league, we're fourth, and as long as we can stay in that top four, I think we need that money now. I know I always say I wouldn't mind the Europa League, we'd do well in it, but um, the finances, we, well, we need them really. For a kick on a bit if I do do another season. Um, but yeah, top four, as long as we can stay there, I mean, it's close, so. Villarreal have dropped off. It's the usual three at the top, but we will still be competing. And I'm buzzing with that because of the amount of changes. A lot of like big time players left, really. Lots. Not just the two loanies, Tori and Endrick, but you know, Vallejos and uh, Casamano, or whatever his name was, and then my defenders. You know, um, experienced players that have been replaced by younger players. So to still be in there, I'm happy with because they're younger and they've got way more potential and talent than the guys that have gone. And, <laughs> oh, I don't, know why, I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, but this is why I've got up early, because we have returned to the Copa Del Rey final. Um, two years ago, we won it. Last year, was a bit disappointing. But, you know, it is what it is. So we played the, the Gherkins, whoever they are, uh, pretty much put a B team out, or at least guys who weren't playing as much. Um, I think a B team now. Barcelona, I didn't B team then, but we beat them again. Uh, Deportivo over two legs. We did really well. 2-0. Two 2-1. Two um, and here we are. This is my final um, save point. Again, why I've got up early, because we're doing what I did in episode five, where we're going to share this now, and then I've got a couple of hours to get, get through it quick. Um, but I've, I should have enough time, because I'm not flying till light in the afternoon. But before we have the live comp, I've got league games to play. So I'm going to motor through these as quick as I can. We'll play Real Madrid in a live com and get this season wrapped up. Real Madrid again, have you not? On the last game of the season, it's at home this time. Christ on a bike. Right, let's get to work. I'll see you in a minute. What is a moment for you? Don't know how long it's going to be for me. Who gives a shit? It's going to be fun. I'm quite excited. Let's get going. Right, I'm back. And I'll be honest with you, I'm getting quite nervous now. I think it took me a little bit longer than I thought. I, I still think I can get this done. This, this episode's probably a bit here, there and everywhere I know. Maybe a bit rushed. I'm a bit giddy. I'm very nervous. Shit, I mean, I need an hour to edit. Once I can get it edited and stick it uploaded, I can do all the other YouTube shit on my mobile on the way. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'm all packed and ready. But anyway, there's still loads to get through. So, let's do it quickly. So, then these are the results. I reversed them. We're going to go through them quickly. Um, I beat Rayo. I drew with Celta. And then the Champions League happened. It's a dream that's never going to be fulfilled. Sod it, we got beat 1-0 in the return leg. But then I have been on a fantastic run. Uh, we went on a great run. And the best bit about this run is um, we had this game here against Malaga. And then I had two days rest. Then I had to play Alves. Look at that team. Look at that team. I gambled and they did not let me down. No, Fernino was playing. Hopefully keeping my main boys fresh because we only had two days rest again for the Copa del Rey final. We are third in the league, which is fantastic. Um, there's Barca and Real Madrid above us and um, we've got a gap now so you know top four is looking safe and we're all set I've picked my team for the final they're fresh they're ready anything can happen in a cup final so let's get this done as quick as possible right then exciting times exciting times I mean look at the form we're in but this is Real Madrid who will also be in impeccable form no doubt oh they've lost one um, but they batter me I think there's one game I beat him in the Super Copper, and it was a fluke and a half. So yeah, I am all packed. Obviously, after this, got a couple more games to play. I don't think I can fit another live coming at the end. We'll just um, I'll get through the end of the season and we'll wrap up the episode. Like I said, I need about an hour it takes me to edit it down into 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever it is normally. Oh, go, 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 go! The fucking referee, fucking goal review. Hey, come on! That was a bit of a shock, um, but I'm all packed. Um, right, so my mates, it's quite. This can be quite confusing. I'm going with Jamie, Jamie, and Mark. So there's Jamie Cordwell, and we all grew up together um, from being like three years old. So you've got Jamie Cordwell, who plays Wayne Kerr. He does the Sky Sports News thing for me. We've got Jamie Fogg, and we've got Mark Fogg. But Jamie Fogg. And Mark Fogg. Oh, you twat. Dropped in some encouragement. Yeah, Jamie Fogg and Mark Fogg, even though they're both blonde, aren't related in the slightest. They're not even distant cousins. Everyone always thinks they're brothers, but they're not. 
So we're going with the Foggies. Although with Mark's just Mark. Jamie, we all call him Caldy. And Jamie Fogg, everyone calls him Foggy. So really, I'm going Jamie, Mark and Foggy. Um, but yeah, I've known him at me life and it's very exciting. Like, we've been... A, are we getting a penalty? Maybe. I'm just so giddy here. I, do you know what? I've hardly even put any thought into any of this. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's Fagioli. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're older. We're in our mid-40s, unfortunately. And we've been on a million lads all days, especially in our 20s. Different groups, different... Because it's a big group of us. Um, you know, different members coming at different times. But the last time us four went together was to Zante when we were 15 with Jamie Cordell's parents for two weeks. And it was a shit show. Two weeks. We were basically on a lads all day. We never saw his mum and dad. The hotel looked like something out of the in-betweeners. Well done. Um, we got annihilated. Mark Fogg nearly died of alcohol poisoning. He had to go to hospital for two days. I went on a bike ride, didn't sun cream my back up. I melted, got third degree burns on my back. My back's just coating in freckles still to this day because of that. Um, I had to go and see a doctor and get special treatment. Bastard. Um, it started to get better after about four or five days. And then Jamie Fogg, Foggy, when we were drunk, jumped on me back and ripped all the skin off again. That was bad. Then he got an ear infection that was serious and then we got scored against and it became 3-2 to Real Madrid. The dream's over. I got It's over, innit? Just let me go on holiday. I've had enough of this game. Well, it's half time. It's 3-2. I mean, they've absolutely destroyed us stat-wise. But, you know, there's, we've had the lead twice. Can we get a third? Now, I know we scored the penalty, but I brought Fagioli off. And drop Wilson back and put Fernino up top. More goals than that, I think. We'll see. Fernino has uh, he scored the goal actually against them in the Super Copper. Um, as you can see there, evolving mindset on the ad boards. I've got big news regarding my friend. <laughs> big news regarding my mate Limo and evolving mindset and a few other things. I won't divulge too much yet because I don't think I'm allowed to. But there'll be. Oh, I'll probably do some bits for him on FN24 um, I'll explain more later but yeah I'm hoping this time now we're old wise men we're still going to get drunk we're not there for two weeks we couldn't handle two weeks my liver couldn't handle two weeks um, I just want to spend some time with my friends get get pissed go and have some fun bit of day drinking uh, I want to go walk down the beach and shit I want to go to the old town see a bit of singing definitely want to go see Sticky Vicky's granddaughter whoever Sticky Vicky is these days pull things out of her vagina because when in Rome, you do what the Romans do. So when you're in Benidorm, you go and watch Sticky Vicky, don't you? And it, it maybe even that Star Wars sex show I keep talking about. Love <laughs> ah, fun. Well, have fun. I'm having fun here. It's 3-3. Three, three. I still don't think we're going to win it. I probably need to do some stuff. But yeah, so um, Jamie Fogg's getting a taxi. He's going to come. He lives on the other side of Denton, where I used to live. Um, all those lots still live down here where we grew up now. No, piss right off! Right, I've made tons of changes. Quite a few. Probably tell. Um, I'm going to attack him. Let's just go for it. I've got nothing to lose. It's Real Madrid. We're getting beat. Who gives a shit? Um, so yeah, Jamie Fogg getting a taxi. He's coming down. He's going to grab Mark. And because me and Jamie Cardwell, or Wayne Kerr, as you may know him, and we live on the same street, they're going to pick us up, get our ass to the airport. It's dead weird, really, because I've never flown with EasyJet. You have to do it all on your phone. I've had to board on my phone. Hey, brilliant. But what is weird is I'm playing on here now in Spain with a Spanish team. And this, by night time, probably by the time you're watching this, I'll be in Spain. Mint. And the weather is like 30 odd degrees at the minute. It's pissing down with rain, with like torrential freaking wind and sideways rain and everything here at the minute. I can't wait. Right, come on. It's 5 3. I think we've done proud. It's better than the 7 0. They usually dick us by more. We've given them a game. We've actually had the lead in moments in this game. Let's not let's not concede six for fuck's sake. Oh, they, they, they're going for seven. They want seven again. They like seven. It's their favourite number seven. That's what's going to happen, isn't it? Here you go. Have seven. Fuck it now. <sighs> Gutierrez, he's been like my best player. He's had a shitter brought him off. Don't know why I should have brought him off. About 90 freaking minutes ago. Twat. Oh, come on. I've, honestly, I've had enough now. I've like, I'm done. Stick a fork in football manager and making videos. I swear to God.
but I will get this done. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on a mission, really. I just want to. I want to get it out. I'm, I'll be gutted if I can't wrap this up and you're watching it when I get back, because that just doesn't work well. Yeah, it'll be too big. As, as shit as this is, we're getting battered in a final. I know it's still a decent season. It's progress, sort of. Do you want to see another season? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I told you, didn't I? They wanted seven. We all thought they were going to get seven. They've got seven. Well done. Get, get, you're not getting past these. You're not getting past these. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Right, so beaten by Real Madrid in two finals. We're out of the Champions League from a dicking from Bayern. We are on a good run in the league and I've got Real Madrid last game of the season. I ain't got time for another live comp. Um, what, I've got five games here left to play. I'm going to make a quick brew. I'm going to bash my way through these and we'll see how the season ends. Thank you very much for sticking with me because this, this episode is a bit bonkers. I feel a bit bonkers. I'm just in holiday mode right now. Right then, we're here. It's the end of the season. I've wrapped it up. It's been all right-ish. Uh, we need to have cut blues. We beat Villarreal, Getafe, and that team I cannot pronounce. And I've lost my last two games back to back against the Madrids. But we finished third, which is really respectable. Back in the Champions League, in the top four. We saw many changes this year. There's a lot of youth coming in. A lot of quality youth. Um, it was good to still be there and thereabouts. We still had a similar season. We keep just having similar seasons, although I do feel different about this team. And if there is another episode, another season, which could be like a week away, really, if you think about going away, coming back, playing a season, um, I'll see how I feel. I'll see how you guys feel watching this. Uh, see what I hear back from you. Um, I, th I think they've grown. If we can add to that, then we could do all right again. But you're playing against Real Madrid, who again, who again have had an invincible season. So there we go, that is the end. As always, thanks for joining me, I really do appreciate it. Your view is the most important thing, but if you want to hit the thumbs up, get involved in the comments, subscribe, or even hit that bell, all that's appreciated. Anyone watches an advert, it's appreciated. If you're a patron, thank you very much. If you want to be a patron, you'll find a link below um, in the description to my patron. And when FM24 does come out very early on, I'm going to be bringing back the sub league. And if you are a patron, you will be a messy level player. I can't wait to bring that back. If there's more of you this year, I'm going to have a few more teams and um, look up on series I did this year and I enjoyed it um, and I'm going to enjoy my holiday honestly thank you for the support uh, I will miss you hopefully you'll miss me can't wait, can't wait I'm cutting this fine I don't know why I'm still talking because I've got to get it edited but I think I can do it I'm a man on a mission love you long time I'm booed I'll see you next time with whatever I'm doing stay happy stay safe au revoir what's goodbye in Spanish I know. I don't know any Spanish. See you later.